storm that forced one of the biggest cities in the Middle East into a standstill. This is unprecedented. This has never happened in Dubai. Planes floating on the water like ships on the tarmac. Million dollar cars with water pouring out of their windows. Rivers flowing between glass skyscrapers. What you see is the result of a sudden weather change in Dubai, United Arab Emirates. This desert country has never seen such a flood in its history. By the end of April 16th, Dubai had received over 142 mmm of rainfall in 24 hours. On average, 94.7 millimeters of rainfall at Dubai International Airport per year. That is, as much rainfall fell in one day as usually falls in a year and a half. The city does not have the appropriate infrastructure to allow such amounts of water to be discharged into the sewage. And as a result, with such a cloudburst, Dubai literally turned into a mythical Atlantis in just five minutes. The authorities began pumping out the water but this still kept people in their homes and offices for more than a day. Torrential rains are hitting Gulf states, causing flash floods that have killed 20 people and brought traffic to a standstill at the world's second busiest airport. One thing I didn't think I was going to need living in Dubai is wellies. I mean, you know, streets are flooded, water everywhere, dramatic scenes after torrential storms hit not only the UAE, but also the entire region. I mean, you talked about how Dubai International has been impacted all departing flights from Dubai have now been cancelled until midnight on Wednesday, um, which is pretty significant given the fact that most people can't get to the airport. You've got scenes like this, you know, flooded streets and specifically the main artery feeding into Dubai International completely shut down. Extreme weather conditions in the Middle East are becoming an increasingly common anomaly. Some blame the authorities of the United Arab Emirates for interfering with the weather by sowing clouds. And still others believe it is the result of climate change. But let's be honest, when a flood occurs in one of the driest places on Earth, it is something really strange. Therefore, today we will check what exactly happened in Dubai, what could have been responsible for such a scale of flooding and why the city may be underwater in the future. That's all for today. I invite you to watch the episode. Wednesday, April 17th, 2024. Dubai, known for its barren deserts, azure skies and scorching heat, became the site of one of the worst floods seen in the Middle East recently. The situation was so critical that people at the airport were terrified, as in apocalyptic movies, begging to be allowed to board the plane. It's, it's, a, it's a total difficult situation. I'm trying, I want to go home. There are hundreds and thousands of other passengers just like me in this airport who have been waiting for 10 hours, 16 hours, some even for 24 to 30 hours. People are just lying around in the uh, airport. There is not enough seats and chairs to, you know, let them sit. Without a doubt, seeing planes almost floating on the tarmac can be scary, but they weren't the only ones who didn't know what was about to happen. Just before the main impact of the sudden downpour on the coastline, residents recorded videos of the powerful storm heading towards the city. When it hit, garden furniture flew off the balconies and visibility dropped to zero because the rain was so intense that 100 liters of it fell per square meter in 12 hours. These are the results recorded in rainy regions of our globe, such as in the capital of Brazil, where this is the amount of rainfall per month. So you can guess what happens to dry land when it suddenly has to receive such amounts of rainfall. Pointing blame at Emirati authorities for cloud seeding, news reports and social media posts quickly picked up the story. The United Arab Emirates is implementing a long-running program aimed at squeezing more rain from clouds passing over the usually dry region. They have a special team of pilots who spray salt particles into storms to create more water. Some people see the increasing flooding as a warning. What you are currently seeing is an example of what the UAE authorities are doing to create rain clouds. The United Arab Emirates struggles with extremely low rainfall, which occurs only a few days a year. In response to this problem from 2021, the UAE is intensively implementing a program of artificially causing rain through cloud seeding. Just before the heavy rainfall, the authorities decided to carry out this procedure again exactly one week before these events. Nevertheless, writing in Time magazine, Rosalind Prinsley, Disaster Solutions Manager at the Australian National University's Institute of Climate, Energy and Disaster Solutions, dismissed the conspiracy theory that cloud formation was to blame. According to the expert, the cause was drought and a sudden change in weather conditions, which caused the storm due to air masses flowing from Africa. As a result, clouds and strong winds rose in the sea, which led to rain and waves, completing the process of destruction that flooded almost the entire city. You probably know that the World Meteorological Organization has shown that in the last 50 years there's been 
an, um, an increase in the number of floods by about a factor of five. And this has been driven by climate change and more extreme weather. And so climate change is causing a much warmer atmosphere. Um, so because the atmosphere is warming, it can hold more moisture, approximately 7% more for every degree of water. Dubai wasn't the only one with this problem. What you see are recordings from Oman, a neighbor of the United Arab Emirates. There, as a result of intense rainfall, the cities turned into raging rivers, as a result of which 25 people died and the losses were also huge. Experts say the massive rainfall was likely caused by a normal weather system that has been exacerbated by climate change. According to Ezra Al-Nakbi, senior forecaster at the United Arab Emirates government's National Meteorological Center, a low pressure system in the upper atmosphere combined with low pressure at the surface acted as a pressure squeeze in the air. This compression, enhanced by the contrast between warmer temperatures at ground level and cooler temperatures above, created conditions for a powerful storm. This is an abnormal phenomenon for this time of year. This is the graph of average annual temperatures in the United Arab Emirates. Increases have been recorded for over 50 years, and the average temperature has increased by about 3 degrees Celsius. The report, Mercury Rising, the economic impact of climate change on the Arabian Peninsula, found that if global temperature increases reach a global average of 3 degrees C by the end of the century, Gulf countries could expect an average GDP decline of minus 69% by 2100. The Emirates themselves can then expect temperatures higher by an average of 6 degrees Celsius. In this case, the region will not be suitable for normal existence due to extreme weather phenomena that will be much more drastic than those we had the opportunity to observe in April 2024. Dubai is located just above sea level and its average height is 16 meters. The marina area and other coastal regions are well below this level. Global average sea level is projected to rise by 2 meters by the end of this century. However, to determine local sea level rise, local coastal flood levels must be taken into account, which could be 2.8 m above average under extreme forecasts. This is what the map of Dubai looks like in 2100. Almost the entire Jumeirah district will then be under the water. But that's not the only problem. Artificial interference in the region's geology definitely does not make the city's already terrible position in terms of potential climate disasters any easier. Arabs are already trying to change the local climate due to this possible warming variant. However, such an artificial change may end up even worse. Sheikh Zayed, the first president of the United Arab Emirates, discovered that 15,000 years ago, the Arabian Peninsula was a completely different place. Surrounded by dense forests and full of greenery, the land turned into a desert only after a long drought which also forced its inhabitants to move in search of water. Over time, the forests were filled in and gradually turned into the black gold or oil of the region. This fact has caused Arabs to look favorably at their deserts for years, which, contrary to appearances, with proper irrigation and reclamation, can again host lush forests and even jungles. In 1946, Sheikh Zayed launched a pioneering project to develop a water resources management system that was centered in Alain. In this way, Abu Dhabi and Alain are regions that today are considered to have been partially transformed from a desert into a forest. 50 years ago, according to research, the Emirates had 85% less greenery than they have now. The Emir of Abu Dhabi was even supposed to sign a contract with a Chinese company in 2021 to transform existing desert areas into areas where grass, trees and vegetables can grow and the Chinese have experience, as in their own Ulanbu desert. Over the last two years, they have managed to successfully introduce as many as 40 plants to previously dead areas. Ultimately, the Emirates plan to terraform the entire coast in order to stop climate change and stop the temperature increase. But this is still artificial interference, the effects of which we do not know. The desert city-state yesterday suffered horrendous floods, which swamped the airport and many of the surrounding roads, forcing dozens of flights to be cancelled as travelers crammed into the concourse to shelter from the torrential downpour. The Great Flood also highlighted the unfortunate situation of the Dubai International Airport, which, as you can see in the recordings, was also underwater. The reason for this is the proximity of the Dubai Creek Canal, which was also created by man, while in front of the facility itself is the Deira district, which is also one of the flattest points in the city. Unfortunately, water could also get into some of their engines, but they should not be damaged because they are prepared for extreme weather conditions. Dubai Airport is one of the largest airports on Earth, with an annual number of passengers estimated at 86.9 million by 2023. It is the main transfer and logistics location for Europe, Africa, Asia and Oceania. Even a one-day suspension of rates may have serious consequences for the economy. 
It supports over 400,000 jobs and contributes over $26.7 billion to the economy, which is approximately 27% of Dubai's GDP and 21%. The Emirates have a serious climate problem, but they are partly responsible for it. A dozen or so years ago, a scandal broke out regarding the possible erosion of artificial palm trees and islands around the world. What is certain is that instead of building more artificial elements of the city, the Emirates should focus on preparing it for extreme weather phenomena, which are increasingly recorded there. That's all for me for today. Thank you for your attention. And until the next material, take care, bye.